sure we're going to be spending a lot of time together. Actually, that's not what I was talking about, Joey. Then what did you mean? Well, I'll put it to this way. <laughs> you see? Jeez, what the hell was that for? <laughs> well, if I have to explain myself, it clearly didn't have the desired effect. Why in the world would... I mean, I guess I know why you would... Why would you? Why would it? Because I had a really nice time today. A nice time that exceeded my wildest expectations. I was, I was confused and surprised and attracted. You? Well, confused and surprised. Not. Sorry. It's OK. <laughs> I can deal with the rejection pretty effortlessly. From here, we also have a view of the magnificent structure that we simplest in Cape Sight like to call the swing set. Granted, it's no Eiffel Tower, but that's all we got. <laughs> but don't forget about the other Francophile opportunities in town. French fries. French toast. French doors. When the tears you cry, all you can believe. Just give these loving arms a try, baby. And have a little faith in me. Give me a latte. Roses. All over Wellington. It's kind of hokey, don't you think? Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Well, it's a five hundred dollar fine to pick one of these. More than every penny. So we should probably stop and think about this about what it means, I mean, about how this will change things. Maybe later. <laughs> how come this feels so right? I think it was those dance lessons. Where did you get those? They're not you. Why, because I'm just a poor tomboy, or... Sawson gave them to me. Neither. See this? This is you. It's not showy or gaudy. It's just simple. Elegant. Beautiful. It's my mom's bracelet. I know. How do you know? Well, because you told me. Six months ago. You were wearing that uh, blue sweater, the snowflakes that you have. You're walking down the hallways at school. I was annoying you as per <laughs> usual. I said, look, Basie, I just found my mother's bracelet this morning, so why don't you cut me some slack? <laughs> Remember that?
suggested this whole stupid alternative prime. It wasn't about Jack, it was about you. All right, and maybe I tried too hard, but I didn't want to miss my chance to dance with you, to hold you, to make you remember what it was like between us. I thought maybe, you know, if I could make it perfect, then... That I would pick you? Say it, Dawson. You thought if you orchestrated this whole evening that I would be convinced into picking you over Pacey, right? You have to pick somebody, Joey. I just want to remind you what you'd be missing if you didn't pick me. You'd be missing a lot. So would I, we'd be missing everything. That's how the evening was supposed to end. Couple more steps, right here. Whoa, stop, right there. Perfect, we're here. You see, I don't know where you think here is, but it seems to me we're nowhere. Think back with me for just a second. Do you remember how this whole thing started? It started with a girl, a wall, and a paintbrush. You bought me a paintbrush. No, lame-o, I stole this from your permanent collection. You bought me a wall? Not bought. Rented. And this thing didn't come cheap, either. It cost me a hundred bucks. You bought me a wall? You said that already. Look, it's a limited time offer, so you should get cracking. <laughs> Macy, did you fail to notice the size of this thing? Well, I just thought your next endeavor should be bigger and better than your last one. You know, it's important that you keep on growing both as a person and as an artist. I also got you this. Now, I know it's not going to cover the whole thing, but as the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I'm going to need your help on this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this time. You're on your own, sister. Pacey, you're unbelievable. I mean, as soon as I think I have you all figured out, you go and you do something so outrageous that I mean, completely challenges me in a way that no one else would even think of, but... <sighs> in case I don't say it enough. Thank you. You wanted me to take off the happy mask, and the happy mask is off. So answer me this one question, because this is what I've been wanting to ask you, Joe. Why are you with me? You see... Why are you with me? Because I don't know why I'm still with you. I mean, I used to know, but I don't anymore. I'll make a note of that. What I do know, Joe, I feel like I'm Josephine Potter's little charity project. I feel like I'm the designated loser. The fit. Just Casey, back off! I'm Casey, I never said that. Look, this isn't about me. This is about no, it you. It is about you. It's about you and how you make me feel when I'm with you. Okay, I feel like I'm stupid and I'm worthless and I'm never right. But you know what I realized? That is not my fault. That is not my fault. Because when I'm with you, it's poor Pacey. He didn't get into college. And it's stupid Pacey forgot the limo and ripped the dress and messed up the corsage. I told you I didn't care about any of it. But I want you to care. I want you to care. I don't want you to just accept it like that's the way it's supposed to be. We are not trapped on this boat. You and I are trapped in this relationship. I can't take it anymore, Joey. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm nothing. I feel like I'm nothing. That's why I flinch when you go to touch me. It's why I never touch you, why I never even think about it. Because when I start to, it just reminds me that I'm not good enough. You done? Done? Oh, no, I'm not done. I am just getting started. You, know, you can stop right now. You can go to hell. You did the right thing, Joey. No, Dawson. You did the right thing. What I did, word right doesn't even come close to. We both did what we had to do. What I have to say, you're not going to like, so I'll say it quickly. I hope one day that I will be able to forgive my father for all this. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. But I know that I will never forgive you. 
You see, Dawson, there are certain circumstances that love cannot overcome. And from now on, I don't want to know you. hates himself so much he can't even look at his own reflection in the mirror. And I wish that I could tell you that being with you doesn't make that worse, but it does. Because the more that you love me in spite of that, the angrier that I get at you. And the more that I stop loving you back. How long have you felt this way? I don't know. But I know it's not right. You know, Our senior year is over now. And you and I are just two very different people on two very different paths. And for us this summer, there is no boat and there is no sunset. There is just Boston and Cape Side. But PC, they're less than an hour apart. And are more than a world apart, and you know it. You spent your entire life trying to get out of Cape Side, Joey, because you felt like you deserved better. Well, I am capeside. That's why I didn't get out, and you did. And you do deserve better. You deserve better than this place, and you deserve better than me. So, I, I, mean, I guess I'm asking as a surprise I've discussed this before, but um, what, what did you think of my movie? I loved it. It was great. You know that, Dawson. You'd be honest with me, right? It was amazing. Extremely talented. It's one of your many attractions. Look, are you all right? No, I just, I just, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't think my movie was on the, um, I don't know, stupid and putrid side. Acting weird. Are you having an insecurity attack? Come on. It's just really important for me to know that you think that I have talent and potential as a filmmaker. You read my journal. <laughs> you left it out for me to see. Oh, not unless it blew open or you, you suddenly developed x-ray vision. I mean, God, how dare you? You invaded my privacy. I mean, I could sue you for this. <laughs> what I'm really curious about is what else is in that journal that you don't want me to see? What else does Joey Potter really think of me? Oh, right now, Dawson, you really don't want to know. You're off the hook. What? You're off the hook. I've never really put much faith in all that if you love someone, set them free crap, as evidenced by everything I've done in my life up to this very moment. But I am determined to be happy, Joy. Happy in this life. And I love you. I mean, I always, I have always, always loved you. But. Our timing has just never been right. And the way I figure it, time is no man's friend. So I have to get right with that and be happy now. Because this is it. I mean, this is all that we get. This is one thing I've learned from losing Jen. That's what I've learned. Peace. Actually, I... um, hold on. I'm not done that. Because I also want for you to be happy. It's really important for me that you be happy. So I want you to be with someone, whether it be Dawson or a New York guy or some man that you haven't even met yet. But I want you to be with someone who can be a part of the life that you want for yourself. I want you to be with someone who makes you feel like I feel when I'm with you. So, I guess the point of this long run on sentence that's been the last 10 years of our lives is just that the simple act of being in love with you was enough for me. What you said? Did you mean it, Dawson? Every word. Which is why you should turn around and go. To Pacey. What? Last year you had the opportunity to go to Paris and study, and because of me you didn't. Dawson, that wasn't your fault. Yes, it was my fault, because I should have made you go. 
But I was selfish, and I didn't want you to go. I wanted you to stay here with me. And I refused to make that mistake again. Well, Dawson, I mean, what if it's my choice? I mean, what if I want to stay? Joey, come on. Even I can see it. Casey's this year's Paris. And this time, you have to go. You have to see for yourself, all right? I can stand here and tell you that it's a colossal mistake and that all roads lead back to me, but that's not gonna make any bit of difference. Words and speeches sound great, but they don't add up to anything. All that matters right now is what you want. I don't even know what I want, Dawson. Yes, you do. You want him. You want him like I want you. You, you love him like I love you. Well, the difference is he loves you back the same way. And you deserve that. Okay, and I'm not gonna be the one who stands in the way of you getting that. You're free. You can do whatever you want. Did you know? Did I know what? This was a dream come true. Which part? When you and I were on the boat, I used to dream that we'd be cast away somewhere. You know, your standard tropical island with the white sand beaches and the giant stars overhead. We'd wear no clothes and we'd splash in the surf all day. And then at night, the moon would be this, well, this giant thing. I like this fantasy. I can catch fish with my bare hands, make fire without matches. I'd make the fires. Who paid attention in science class? Okay, good point. Besides, it's my fantasy. And I guess I never told you about it before because it's embarrassing, you know? I mean, it's not at all original. In any case, you were right about one thing. What's that? There are about a thousand reasons why you and I would never work. There's one thing in the pro column. What's that? This writer has decided it doesn't matter how it ends. Because fiction is fiction for the first time in a long time. <sighs> My life is real. It doesn't matter who ends up with who. Because in some unearthly way, it's always going to be you and me. All we have goes beyond friendship, beyond lovers. It's forever. Oh. Okay.